Hello, and welcome to Urban Simulator 22. Let's play Silver Rock Forest. I am your host, Fields and Skylines. Um, we are down. Well, we're in August. It's about 8 in the morning. We're down by the shipping builder. As you can see, we are close to being done. Uh, just to process a little bit more wood beams, floor tiles, and some fabric. And we'll be able to launch our boat. Um, it's been moved. So, it's right over here. Hopefully it won't launch without, like, a warning. Would love to get that on video. Um, let's check in on some productions. So, we don't have a whole lot running because we're just waiting for the roller coaster. Um, we still have a little bit of wood running here. Uh, so, let's go and jump. To the roller coaster. Well, we'll drive up to the roller coaster and then we'll probably uh, see where that's at and what it needs. And then we'll go up to Sawmill and figure out what I'll, how to distribute some of the stuff up there. Because I know the roller coaster's next stage will need a bunch of stuff delivered to it. But I don't know if we've made that next stage yet or not. Uh, we also have um, to harvest probably more wood for the sawmill. Metal, as always, to sell. Let's take a look here. Oh boy, it flipped. We are in the next stage. Um, so as you can see, we need prefab walls. Uh, we we'll need chairs, and tables, and shingles, and barrels, and buckets to be delivered here. Um, Let's see what we do need. Wood beams, 525. Where's wood beams? We have 599, so we don't need wood beams delivered. Planks, 315. Planks, 607, so we have enough planks. Planks long, 157. Planks long, we have 883 there, so we're good there. Metal, 87. We have plenty of metal. Uh, floor tiles, 711 stored, need 100. And 13. So we're good. Prefab walls. We have plenty. Staircase railing, 144 liters. Staircase, we have over a thousand. So, really, all we need to bring are chairs, tables, shingles, barrels, and buckets to the roller coaster. I think I'm going to start on that now. Um, and get that done. So, I'm going to do that in a time lapse. So, I'll see you all shortly once I get everything delivered here. Would lie to you Doesn't matter what I do She's got a hold on me She knows how to drive a truck But she lets me pick her up When we're going dancing My heart stops beating When my headlights shining on her She's my country girl couldn't tell you what she's doing with me She's so damn out of my league She's a little bit crazy on the weekends Dancing in her red dress And I love the way she looks in my eyes And I'm feeling like midnight's getting closer And I just wanna hold her in my arms Till the sun comes up She's a little bit of her she can drive me so wild just with that sweet smile and there's nobody else for me my heart starts racing every time i'm looking at her she's my country girl i couldn't tell you what she's doing to me she's so damn out of my league she's a little bit crazy
wouldn't lie to you Didn't matter what I do She's got a hold on me So we delivered not everything, but everything that the roller coaster is going to need. Um, earned some money doing that, so we're in pretty good shape. So the next thing we need to do is check up on the sawmill. Um, we also have this awesome trailer sitting here that we're going to buy a semi for hopefully one comes on at a low price, but we will see. So I am going to head up to sawmill here and quick jump cut and then I will see you there. I'll see you in a very short bit. Alright, made it up to the sawmill. Um we still have quite a bit of wood. Well a little bit of wood left to run out. Uh I don't know We'll turn that on for now. Um, we have quite a bit of everything. And the roller coaster didn't need any more. So it'll just be supplying our productions. But we were pretty much good on the productions too. Let's take a look at those. So Wood Turner. Uh, we could do, um, it looked like we were pretty good with the staircase. So you know what? I'm going to just crank out, um, bowls, pepper grinders, and just run this thing dry. Shingles, I'm going to run dry. See what we get. Uh, flooring. We have plenty of flooring. I mean, we're still storing a bunch of flooring. So I think we're good for now. Um, chairs and tables. We have some chairs and tables still made. So I'm not going to run anything yet. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will do. We're doing planks here. and We have more planks coming. So we'll just run chairs and tables. Um. Out. Do we want to start making armoires? Not yet. And then barrels and buckets. We have plenty of wood. We're going to turn those on and get a couple. We did lose some buckets, or no, I mean some barrels when uh, I went to pick it up. I accidentally got too close to the buckets and we lost some barrels. So um, definitely going to run those. So. That means we'll need wood to be delivered to quite a few places. We have quite a bit of wood here. I mean, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 13, 14, 15 long planks currently, and we might get more. Uh, we have 9, 10, 11 um, beams. We have 5, I'm sorry, 4, 6 prefab walls and some plank, small planks. I think I'm going to actually take prefab walls and turn the prefab walls off and just keep running um, this way. We may have to deliver some wood beams to the boat because they look equal and 
sometimes when they look equal, it means you need a little bit more. So we'll see. But yeah, I think we're good. We're going to just let this keep running. We're not going to deliver anything right now until we buy probably the semi and just use that. So yeah. So we're going to head back to the logging camp. Another jump cut. And I will see you all back at the logging camp. Alright, so we delivered everything. Um, we're looking good everywhere. So, I have sped up time to two because it'll speed up the yacht. Hopefully, we'll get to see the yacht launch yet here today. Um, as you can see from the camp, I rotated the barrel bin, or whatever you want to call the barrel, the, the wood, the barrel bin. So, the wood bin here, um, I rotated it so that this is uphill. It should work a little easier. Um, I tested it out. It was working a little easier. I think what I'm going to do is continue to grab some of the bigger trees in here. Um, I was thinking we could maybe load a container. I could reach the semi, bring the truck in and load a container. Um, might be something we do with logs, but to do that, I would have to start cutting them at the right lengths. So I think we're going to hold off on on the container for now. Um, but I think we will harvest some wood, move it into the bin, and then we will check on our how our productions are doing and kind of decide what we're going to do um, that because we have a lot of wood stored up we have a lot of metal stored up uh, we just have a lot of everything and until like we start hitting that next um, grouping not really sure where to take it although most of it's going to go to productions I think so all right, stick some more of these trees down. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, things are going well, the productions are going well. Oh, back here. I think once we start taking trees from the other side, this up a little bit from over there um they'll line up better with how the bin is but i think we'll be okay i want that yep. that was a pretty big tree all right so let's go next oh down Let's bring it a little closer. All right. There you go. So which tree are we going for next? Let's get that big tall there. So we get this one here. And then oh, big tall. What if I go from the other side? I have to get that big tall. One. So the taller tree obviously the more work to get out of it. So and of course the smaller trees will continue to grow. Which is good. So it's this tree right there that I want to go. This is where it's going to be a little difficult to pull it. Oh, I think we just drag it. It's caught on something. Uh oh, we got caught on. We drag it. 
this. Shields. Raise it up. And I'm going to quickly move. Tracker. So that I don't box it up. Here. A little bit more, raise a little more, and cut. We should almost then be lined up. What's the next street? Uh, that one's really tall back there. There's Deadwood right there. There's a little Willers. Try to get this big one right here. Kind of get it in that same spot that we had it. And I know this is weird, but let's go take a check on the boat, see how it's doing. I really don't want to miss it. I don't know if it's going to notify me if it's ready or if it just launches it and I get paid. I just, I don't. So it has 4,800 or 4,480 liters needed. Um, minute, so. We're pretty good still. I think I can do a little bit more wood chopping. Just move straight back. Try to line up there. Because yeah, if we do that, we should be able to that turn straight. So I'm just going to yes we'll just pop them right here we'll have to figure out how to turn Not be a great spot for it because there's a tree right there, kind of be in the way, but we can make it happen. Cap. Yeah. All right. It's quite a bit of logs. I think we're going to be good with the harvesting for now. this away. I think what we'll do is see how we can push them in. It works a little better. Uphill. It should. Get out. Take a look at some of these trees that are still left here. Um, 23. 23. Some of these littler ones will grow up to be 11 meters, so they got some growing to do. Twenty-three. This is a dead one. Twenty-four. It's a pretty big tree here, I think. Thirty-six. Yeah. So 
We have a good mix of trees in here. Um, as we clear, we'll go through and try to get stumps out. So let's see how uphill works versus. Explorer now. So there's still a little slide. I think that's to be expected a little bit. Don't know why we got. Turn these just a little bit to cut that corner. straight at them. Yeah, there's still a little bit of a slide, but it's not as bad as it was. We can still kind of control. It's hard. It looks so much easier when you watch other people do it. Oh. But that's why we do this, right? To uh, get a little better. No, uphill was working so much better with those other locks. I don't know if there's still just like a cross slant in this area. Just like see them look well. And now the slides what you have to It's time for a large tractor. How do we upgrade this one? Alright, next set. So sometimes what I do in these piles as well, where I move them, or try to move them, is I dig out the ones that I can carry by hand, hand load those on the back of the trailer. Just because the little ones kind of don't work as well in the loading and unloading. Right there, the slant just got yeah. So, like this one here, we'll be able to lift. And I'll just run it over, try not to hit anything, throw it nicely back here.
Yeah, like the rest of these are. Yep. Let me cool up. So yeah, so you guys got the idea. I think. I mean, I don't know if it looks like it's working any better, um, but I really think it is, for the most part. Although I think I got some of these stuck here. Which is okay, because when we come in with the other, or the front loader, or whatever it's called, not the front loader, but... You know, work its way up. So let me show you that. Yeah, so we line up, drop it down, open them up. And for now, I'm just gonna be stacking these, but I'm not gonna keep building up anywhere. Still, just I think I need to do a little leveling right there. So. Just like that. And then we we'll go, try to get a little bit off the heat, pick it up, just keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. And then I'll do this, and I'll pull back. It doesn't look like I did much, but it actually did stack them up a little better. So I can come back with the tractor. Spot. So I can park this and we can get this cleaned up. So I'm going to just crack on here um, and a little bit of a time lapse and I'll see you in a little bit. It's like 90 degrees, it's making me hot And he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, oh, I wanna run through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm-mm I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I 
I try to get his number up, so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself. Oh, my body's giving up on me. Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips. Oh, I wanna run through his hair, but don't stare. So we're back by the boat. Um, we're at 3.58. I've upped it to 10 times speed. I might just do a time lapse sitting here watching to see if the boat goes. I don't know like how fast it's going to go down. Um, so it's 9.40 and we're at 3.53. 352. It looks like it goes down from one meter a second per minute, whatever time changes. So 349. <sighs> 10 times speed. So maybe I will increase the speed a little higher. Yeah. Uh, 60 times speed. That'll move it way quicker. And then we can wrap up this episode and make the last this episode is the boat launches. So, first, let's just do. You saw what I did. I did a little love for you there as well. With the landscape tools, maybe it'll make it a little better. We'll see when I try to load, load up. Um, production wise, though, we are still running great with. Um, the resources we have. Uh, we'll probably run them out by the morning. Um, but that's all right. We'll have some wood ready to be delivered. 1030, so 200. I mean, it's going pretty quick. I don't know. Four tiles little smaller. This will also tell us if we can work some wood beam or not. So, see as our productions are going good, we have, we'll have enough for the next round of the roller coaster. Um, We have plenty of wood to keep building more wood to, to, to deliver plenty of processed wood to deliver to our um, different productions. See so yeah, here, we're getting pretty close. So we're in pretty good shape, which is why this month has been kind of a blot of a month. All right, we're close. I'm gonna turn the time down. And there's my doorbell. Wonderful. I shall be right back. I'm sorry for that interruption. All right, so we're back again. Um, like I said, it shows 22 liters. I have zero liters of wood, beans, but it still shows it's needed. So I am going to quickly jump and drive up to the sawmill in a jump cut and bring that beam down so I'll see you all shortly all right we're coming back uh, we have a thousand meters of beam we'll just drop off 
just sail up. Get this out of the way. Just gotta process eight liters of fabric. Holy cow, we're close. So we are going to up the time a little bit. All right, we're at three times one liter left. How much fabric do we show there? Uh, 400, there we go. So we have everything here. We just have, there we go, and there it goes. And see, I didn't give any warning. I didn't have to do anything to kick it off. So good, thank goodness uh, we are here, but it's going pretty slow. It's launching. Oh, so there's the warning. It's launching in an hour and 57 minutes. So that's okay. We got a thing for that. So we'll just let that count down. Uh, we'll do a quick recap. Um, and this will kind of be what takes us out. So uh, look at, we have a bunch of wood that we're gonna have to deliver to our productions and probably decide if we need to make if we want to make another boat. I don't know how much money we're going to make on this. We'll find out. Um, I do have a plan. Let's slow this down a little bit. I do have a plan for... Uh, maybe too slow. Uh, what I want to do with some of that money. Uh, we do have to buy a semi, of course. But uh, we've talked in the past about expanding our empire to other production things. And I think what I want to do is work heavily on the tourism of this area and we're going to build some touristy type things that'll pay us some money um so that'll be part of what we do with the money the other thing like i said we'll continue logging continue working on getting the roller coaster done uh continue selling what we're selling but yeah so with that though i want to say thank you for watching um if you enjoyed this episode please please give it a thumbs up um, oh, go ten. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content I do, please subscribe to the channel. Um, thanks to everyone who's been subscribing. Uh, keep moving that number up. It's great. And as always, um, I really slowed that down. As always, have a great rest of your day. And thank you for watching and we'll see you we'll see you next time. Goodbye.